Center is hosting a professional Irish storyteller. Her name is Helena Byrne, and she actually is on the line from Ireland right now as we speak. And good morning, Helena. Good morning, Bill. How are you? And wonderful. Thanks so much for coming on. And no so this will happen on on Sunday from three till four o'clock. You're going to be uh, through the magic of Zoom. Uh, I Irish, know the, the wonders of technology these uh, days. It's eh? Crazy, <laughs> right? Irish ghost stories and the supernatural in Ireland. Talk about what you're going to do. Yeah, well, um, I, like you said, I've teamed up with the Irish Cultural Centre, and I'm going to be bringing this show to whoever would like to participate. So it's, it's available worldwide, but of course, audiences in Utica specifically are, are more than welcome to join in. I'm going to be sharing some Irish ghost stories that I was researching uh, over the past year or so. Uh, I was uh, recording an album of Irish ghost stories and tales of the supernatural in Ireland last year. So I basically, I travelled all around the country. I went visiting castles. Uh, I interviewed people about their supernatural experiences. Uh, essentially, I didn't sleep for the past year, as yeah, you can imagine. That's funny. That <laughs> so, I'm going to be sharing some of those stories, uh, along with a few Irish folk tales as well, because when you talk about Irish and the supernatural, you've, you've got to talk about the Irish fairies and Irish folklore as well. Yeah. So, it's really going to be a quite a, a mishmash of uh, stories that I, I can't guarantee anyone is going to sleep well at night afterwards. Oh. But hopefully, they'll enjoy the show. <laughs> that is uh, it's awesome. It, by the way, tickets are $20. And you, uh, twenty dollars would get you access to one Zoom account, right? Exactly. So yeah. it's basically twenty dollars per household. So okay. if there are couples living alone, if there's families with, uh, mm. you know, children that can handle a few ghost stories, then they're they're more than welcome to join in. All right, that's really really neat. I, I wanted to ask you, um, do you like my accent? Because I really like yours, uh, and I just kind of wondered... Your, your accent is lovely, of course. <laughs> is it, do, 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 do Irish people, uh, like, boy, I love that American accent. That really is. But I don't think so. <laughs> uh, it's not like we feel about your accent. Well, I mean, I, I've traveled around America quite a bit, and I have come across some accents that are really, I have to say, had a lovely lilt to them, uh, particularly in the Deep South. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love the Boston you don't say. accent. Um, you know, certainly there's a lot of charm to a lot of American accents as well. We, did, we definitely have that generic uh, New York accent. I, I Although think some people would say, you know, people downstate would say, oh, you're from upstate New York because of the way tell. you say your A's or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But, Helena, are you, oh. because of your acting experience, have you gotten to be uh, good at American accents or any of the, the dialects? Well, to say that I would be good at it would be, <laughs> you know, that would be... Do you have <laughs> one? Do you have an American uh, accent that you can use if you like to pull character? out of parties or whatever? I, I, I mean, I, um, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I'll stick with my Irish accent okay. for this particular Listen, yeah. I don't want to go offending anybody. Uh, well, it's very easy now. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is she said the Deep South, she, she, she likes the accent of the American Deep South, and when I hear it, it makes my ears bleed. Well, I will say that um, uh, it's kind of like the Gone with the Wind accent, right, that is... Uh, that is... How's it going there, Miss Helena? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So the classic, the classic accent. Yes, you know? the classic. So. Well, listen, I, I think this is going to be really, really cool. You know, this area here of uh, New York State is... Uh, actually, uh, there are a lot of Irish uh, here in the United States, people that are very proud of their Irish roots. And yeah. a couple times a year, even those that don't have Irish roots uh, become Irish all of a sudden. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a unique thing, really, that St. Patrick's Day, of course, is celebrated worldwide. And, um, you know, there, there are very few countries, I guess, that can claim that they have a day in the year where practically the whole the whole world turned Irish. Yes. You know, it's, it's a yeah. very, very unique thing. And, of course, there are so many Irish Americans. We have a huge diaspora. And whenever I've been in America, even when I think that I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'll come across an Irish bar or yeah. somewhere yeah. or somebody who claims that they have Irish ancestry. It's, there's no escaping the Irish. Yeah, there, that is exactly uh, correct. So uh, yeah. I, I do want to ask you um, how you guys are going through this pandemic, uh, COVID-19 and uh, the coronavirus. How, how are you guys handling it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, of course, it's a very, very peculiar time in yeah. Ireland as well. 
we're we're not doing t- too badly as such. We we're, we're under a pretty strict lockdown at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can only travel about two kilometres outside of our home, and that's going to be extended to five kilometres. Wow. Uh, but really, we're taking our time with it. Um, it's sort of where I think everybody knows that we're in this for the long haul. Yeah. Really, you know, to to, to, to get out of this. Um, yeah, and I guess we've all got to really look at the bright side. I mean, I'm, I'm looking out of my window here in Dublin to a blue sky. Uh, the birds are still singing in the trees. So it's really a case of, you know, we, we've just got to look at the bright side and know that this is it is temporary. We are going to get through this and there are brighter days ahead, I'm sure. Well, uh, your description of this just uh, makes me feel like the world is a great place right now. So uh, we oh, appreciate, well. <laughs> uh, we appreciate, you know, the birds chirping in the trees uh, outside Dublin. Uh, that's pretty awesome. So uh, we look forward to, to Sunday. How do people, if they want to sign up for this, how do they, where do they go for that? Yeah, so they can go to the Irish Cultural Centre's website, which okay. is iccmv.org. Okay, and uh, $20, it's basically for a household. It happens from 3 till 4 p.m. our time on Sunday. And, Helena, thank you so much for taking the time. No problem at all. Thanks so much for having me. All right. You brightened our day, I have to tell you. Very much so. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Have a, have a great day. Uh, that'll be Sunday from 3 until 4, and you can go to the Irish Cultural Center's Facebook page for details on how to sign up. Uh, am I correct in saying... That accent just blows. It just uh, makes me melt. Yeah, it's uh, it's very cute. Talking about the, the, the birds and the trees and the sun shining. Let's go to Ireland.